On August 21st, the United States will be treated to a total solar eclipse, one that will span the country from sea to shining sea. It'll be the first time that's happened in nearly 100 years. Our sun and moon are connected by an amazing cosmic coincidence. The sun is roughly 400 times larger than the moon, but it's also roughly 400 times farther away. This means that when the moon passes directly between the earth and the sun, it covers the sun completely, creating a total solar eclipse. The path the moon's shadow makes on earth as it eclipses the sun is called the path of totality. And this one will cross coast to coast over the continental United States. The last time that happened was 1918. That means this eclipse is the best chance in almost a century for most Americans to get a look at one from their own backyard. An estimated 12 million people live in the path of totality and an additional untold millions will be traveling there for the big event. Astronomy doesn't often cause traffic jams, but when it does, it's for a pretty cool reason. Solar eclipses are important events for scientists. Normally, the sun's corona, the outermost part of its atmosphere, can't be observed because the disk of the sun is a million times brighter. But during a total solar eclipse, the moon blocks everything but the corona, giving scientists a unique opportunity to study it. Because of the duration of this eclipse, and the fact that it's going over populated land, scientists will be able to piece together data along the path of totality to observe nearly 90 minutes of the corona in action. This eclipse is not to be missed. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an astronomer. Total solar eclipses are often referred to as spiritual experiences by those who've seen them, and they aren't often this accessible. So on August 21st, get yourself somewhere in the path of totality and look up, with protective glasses, of course. On August 21st, the United States will be treated to a historic total solar eclipse. We're all familiar with the basic concept here. The moon slides in between the sun and the earth, covering the sun completely, and making visible the sun's corona, the outer part of the sun's atmosphere, only visible during an eclipse of this kind. There are two key figures at play here, 400 and 5. The reason why it appears as if the moon can completely cover the sun during a solar eclipse is because the sun is 400 times larger than the moon. But amazingly, it's also about 400 times farther away. This makes it seem as if they're of relatively similar size when viewed from the surface of our planet. This won't be the case forever. The moon is getting farther away from the Earth, and at some point in the distant future, the moon will be too far from Earth to cover the sun completely, meaning that total solar eclipses will no longer be possible. The five is a little more complicated. It's common to wonder why we don't get eclipses like this more often. After all, it seems like we would get one every month as the moon orbits the Earth. But because the angle of the moon's orbit doesn't exactly align with the Earth's orbit, there isn't a constant opportunity for the proper alignment. The moon's orbit is tilted about five degrees off Earth's orbit. Instead, there are two places called nodes where an eclipse can occur, 
when the orbits sync up and the moon crosses the sun's plane. One that would generate a lunar eclipse, and one that would generate a solar eclipse. While this means that part of the Earth sees a total solar eclipse about once every 18 months, there's a catch. It's been estimated that the time between solar eclipses happening in the same place is 360 to 410 years. Which means that the eclipse that will cross America on August 21st is not just once in a lifetime, it's once in roughly five lifetimes. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.